everybody, Connor Best with Only Bees Bikes. Um, we have a two-part video series for you guys. It's gonna go over modern mountain bike suspension terminology and technology. So the five pieces are pedal kickback, leverage ratio, anti-squat, anti-rise, and last but not least, axle path. In this particular video, we're gonna go into what I deem is, for me, most important to understand and actually I feel the trail is anti-rise. Um, otherwise known as brake jack. So before we get started, um, we really hope that this video series will help you buy your next mountain bike or understand your own more. Um, we're gonna go to the back and we're gonna break into um, what Eminent does to maximize and um, to make their bikes most efficient in these terminologies. It does not mean they're the only bike brand that's doing it. Trust me, everyone out there is trying, um, but I can speak on this bike the best because heck, I ride it. So let's go into the back, show you what Eminent does, and then we're gonna take out the Palmer Park and we're gonna break down these bikes on the trail. So let's get gnarly and have some fun. Okay, so here we are. So um, Eminent uses an active float system, and this is what they're really trying to do is maximize traction on the ground, whether it's climbing, cornering, um, or uh, braking, obviously. So here we are in the anti-rise portion of the episode, and I really want to hone in on the brake here. So what Eminent do, uh, does is they use a floating brake, um, and here's some terminology that they specifically use in regards to that. So their shock is mounted between the chain stay and seat stay, um, and it actually is able to move as the suspension moves. A direct quote from Eminent is this gives the shock the ability to flex with the bike as the rear end and bike flexes, and this allows the bike to reduce axle binding. As the bike compresses through its travel, the brake remains independent from the frame. So over the past couple weeks, Josh and I have been trying to figure out how we want to wrap up and really tie in this video series. So rather than doing everything in our little studio and in the shop, we're going to head out to the trails. So we're on our way to Palmer Park to knock out some filming and uh, let's get gnarly. So we are now talking about anti-rise or the forces used to combat brake jack, which a lot of us have heard or even felt before. So what brake jack is, is when you are moving at speed and initiate your rear brake, the rear wheels inertia as well as the person's mass are gonna cause that uh, shock and bike to compress. Um, and, and also the suspension just isn't working how it should be. And you're gonna feel this when you're going over rocky terrain. It might feel like the bike has turned into a hardtail per se. Um, for what it's worth, numbers under 100 are believed to be um, able to combat those forces um, and are deemed good. Granted, there's not really an industry standard, but under 100 from research, that's where bikes manufacturers are trying to get. So for transparency, what it's worth at all positions and all gear uh, gears in an eminent bike, they are below 75%. So if you're coming in to these rocks at speed, you're obviously gonna to need to use your brake because behind camera will show you there is a very steep section of this trail. So you know in this general area, you need to slow down. If you were to hit your brakes going over some of these big rocks and your bike suspension isn't working properly, it could literally buck you off your bike and you could go over the handlebars. Now obviously this can be tackled by someone on a hardtail. Um, hardtails can tread anything. But if you, for safety's sake, and knowing what your bike can do, you really want the tire to stick to the ground through all of this, and your bike to stay very planted. Okay, so anti-rise, brake jack, it can be kind of confusing. Um, but in summary, we're gonna go over everything. So the terminology is anti-rise, meaning when you are hitting the brake, your momentum and inertia is taking your body mass forward, which is gonna cause the bike to rise, suspension to elongate, et cetera but literally the shock is gonna extend. And when the shock extends and you need it to compress because you're going over rocks, that is gonna create this jarring, jacking, whatever you wanna call it, motion, meaning the bike's gonna feel like a hardtail. The other side of this is maybe if you hit your brake, the bike can sag more into its travel, and now you've already used half your travel before you started going over rocks. So engineers, bike designers, what they're doing is they're trying to create a product that doesn't do either. So when you're going at full speed and hit your brake, the bike is still maintaining traction over anything you can throw at it. So that is anti-squat, or correction, that is anti-rise, also known as brake jack. I um, hope you learned something today. Stay tuned for our next episode. We're gonna dive into leverage ratio and pedal bob. Get gnarly.